What's going on, Infinite Fam? Welcome back to another video. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button, turn on your post notification bell, leave a positive comment down below for a chance to get a <laughs> for a chance to get a shout out in the next video. That is right, babe. So, um, if you guys notice, we are wearing the same clothes as the previous video, and that is because today we have a doctor's appointment for baby girl over here. So, babe, let them know what's going down today because we are currently on the way. Guys, today I am going to my gyno because I have some concerns with, um, as you guys know, I have endometriosis. So, I am basically going to ask the doctor what are my chances of being able to get pregnant. Last time I went to the doctors, um, they did an ultrasound on me and they found a lot of scar tissue. And they pretty much uh, gave me medication for it to basically, I guess, help the situation. When I asked the nurse practitioner if like I can have a baby, she was kind of just like, that is more so for the actual doctor to answer. Um, and I've been on this medication for about a month now. So I just want to see like what are my options and um, What are my chances as well? And yeah, that's pretty much what I am going to tackle today and I wanted to bring you guys with us because Obviously, this is a big deal and we don't want to like leave you guys out of it So with all that being said guys, we are going into everything with a positive mindset All right, everything that we do we always leave it up to God and God's hands and all that. Mm -hmm. So irregardless of what the doctor says, ultimately I leave everything up to the man above and that's just how I like to live my life. Anything else you wanna say? Nope, so we'll catch you at the doctor's office. We made it, we are actually in the waiting room right now. Baby nerves? Yeah. Why are you nervous? <laughs> um, doctors give me anxiety. I got like a slow zoom going in on you right now. The stress. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah guys we're just waiting right now for him to come in and then uh we're, we're gonna ask him if he wants to be on camera because we want to ask him if this whole conversation if he's like comfortable with just it being on camera and whatnot you know obviously we like to ask people before putting them on camera any last words all right love what is tell me what's going on i mean I, I read about you i know about your history of endo right um, and I actually read your, um, ultrasound lap, was it last week? Yeah. Yeah, last week. But tell me what this visit is about. What's going on? Give me your story. So, this visit is pretty much pertaining to just, like, my, I guess if I'm able to get pregnant. Okay. And kind of just, like, if it is going to be difficult, what are going to be my options as far as being able to have a baby. Okay. Also, just, <clears throat> like, my timeline. Because when I got my surgery, um, they had told me that it's going to be harder for me to get pregnant. And I would have to get Like pregnant. immediately after surgery? Just in general. Oh, okay. Then like the average person. Okay. As well as like if I do want to get pregnant, that I should start now. Because if I want to wait a couple of years, I won't be lucky pretty much. That last sentence, I don't understand what they meant by that unless they're just saying that if you're going to have trouble you should start sooner rather than later maybe that's what they meant Probably. <laughs> so i mean the true 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 nitty-gritty of it is no one can tell you whether you can get pregnant or not with you having all of your parts intact we can we know that you have endometriosis your ultrasound showed and suspected that you still have either some scar tissue or new scar tissue because okay. it looked like on the ultrasound that your ovaries were kind of stuck behind your uterus right now that again that's just an imaging that's not me live inside of you knowing right um and so there's no way to really know your fertility state 100 percent unless you're going to go through a full fertility workup okay. which is possible although i am not a fertility specialist per se <clears throat> i know how to do a lot of the lab work that they do i can order a lot of the tests that they order but i am not a true fertility specialist so okay. if you want the best of the best which would be a fertility specialist and they can take you through that and what that's going to look like is it's going to be a decent number of visits with blood work. It's going to be a skin analysis from this young man. 
It is going to be potentially a um, saline sauna where they inject your uterus with some saline to see whether there's any polyps or anything like that sitting in the cavity. It will be potentially what's called an HSG, which stands for a hysterosalpingogram. That's where they see whether your tubes are open. Okay. So, I mean, it's an ex it can be an extensive workup. Um, and each one will give them information. Now, what, what of those things can I do? I don't do saline saunas, but I do hysteroscopy. So to me, it's actually a little step above. Well, I actually can put a camera inside of your uterus and see, is there something there that doesn't belong? And even get a tissue sample to say, hey, look, her endometrium is healthy. I can order a hysterosalpingogram. Instead of doing it with them, you can do it at a radiology facility. So there are things that we can order without them. Okay. I can give you an order for analysis for him to get his sample to make sure because 33% of the time it's male factor induced. Okay. Um, if all of that comes back as normal, then it's, you know, then the blood work, that is more in their realm. So I know how to do some of the blood work and I know what blood work they're looking for, but there's very specifics when it comes to that. Some of the labs I can't even draw here. You have to have them done at the lab. Okay. Um, because they have to be immediately frozen. Gotcha. Um, so saying can I get pregnant is kind of a loaded question right. because anything is possible, but you need to, you know, unless you guys are just going to dive into it and try, the definition of infertility is one full year of actively trying to get pregnant without getting pregnant. Okay. That is when most at your age will say, that warrants a fertility workup. Okay. Now, you should not be trying to get pregnant while you're on the medication that you're yeah, on right now. Yeah, that I know. Yeah. <laughs> um, so remind me, when was surgery? Uh, a year ago, okay. exactly. Okay, but, and you started feeling things kind of flare back up? Immediately after. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Do you know like, how well or not well they were able to clean things up? I was told that my <clears throat> surgery was very difficult. Okay. Um, Where was it done at? Remind me. It was in New Jersey. Okay. Um, and it was in New York City. But um, that's all that they really told me was that they okay. had to get a general surgeon to help. Oh. Um, because it was like, has to do with my colon Bowels, and everything yeah. was like mixed in I together. I just did that surgery yesterday. It was not, <laughs> not fun. Yeah, but um, <clears throat> that's pretty much all that they told me. Okay. Okay. So, you know, without that operative report to see how much they did or didn't do or could or couldn't do, it's impossible for me to know what your baseline was. I mean, if your colon was involved, do you remember them ever giving you a stage of your endometriosis? Joe? Stage four. Okay. Okay. So your colon was 100% involved. Yeah. <laughs> um, and it basically means that the area underneath your uterus, which is called the cul-de-sac, is gone. It means that your colon likely was just stuck to your uterus. So you were the case that I had yesterday. Oh, no. I, I mean, it is, unfortunately, endometriosis is a, it's a nasty beast. Yeah. Um, and so that's why they probably need a general surgery to kind of push down your colon and detach it from the uterus. Yeah, I think that's what he said, actually. Um, and so then, you know, the... the the downside to any surgery is that with each surgery, with each tissue that you touch, tissue can stick back together. Gotcha. So whether your ovaries were stuck where they look like they're stuck on ultrasound now or whether they re-stuck there is impossible to know. But if they stuck with the tubes, then it can be blocking your tubes. That's where the HSG would come into play. So they inject you some, with some, some dye and see whether the dye comes out of the tubes to see whether the tubes are open or not. Gotcha. If the tubes okay. aren't open, then you can't get pregnant without IVF. That's where that, those brilliant fertility doctors come into play. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. <clears throat> so you guys have to make the decision of when are we going to try and whether you want to do the conservative route and not do all of this crazy testing, come off the MyFemory, try, and if you get pregnant, great, then who gives a... Then you know your right. answer. Your answer <laughs> yeah. is yes. Um, and actually getting pregnant helps endometriosis, so it keeps it quiet. <laughs> uh, which is a great, which is a great thing. Um, or you don't get pregnant and you're ready for the workup. Or you can stay on the MyFemory and we can do some of the workup so that you know exactly what's going on, so that you know 
you know, when you come off the my femory, how difficult or not difficult it may or may not be. Questions? Um, Does that all make sense? Yes, everything okay. makes sense. I'm <clears throat> very informative. Um, answered a lot of like my worries and questions. Um, I feel like the only question that I have is if I do have another surgery, mm -hmm. would that help me or harm me? It depends on what we find when we go in to do the other surgery. Um, you know, sometimes doing surgery can cause harm, okay. right? If I, I may have to damage your tube in order to detach it from something, you know, and whether it was damaged already before we start versus not is going to always be a mystery. Right. With each surgery, just like I said, it create it can create new scar tissue, which can, which can actually make you worse than you were before surgery. So I'm not opposed to surgery. I do surgery all the time, every week. But in patients with endo, you have to be very careful and weigh the risks and the benefits to taking them to surgery every six months to a year mm -hmm. versus knowing when to say you really should stop and see if the medication will treat you and see if we can do a non-surgical approach first because okay. if not before you know it you're 40 years old and you've had 40 surgeries right. <laughs> um, That's what and I each one with. gets more and more potentially complicated okay i guess um i'll just continue to take the my um how are you I mean, doing on it i actually like it it's Good. helped a lot with my pain awesome i'm glad it's helping your pain yes all right love we are not going anywhere we are always here for you um i'm sure you're following up with when it comes to the myfembry, yes. um, if you guys get home and you have questions or you change your mind about anything, I'm always here. Okay. We can start the workup whenever you want. We can refer you whenever you want. It's easy peasy. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much for it. Okay. Pleasure. <laughs> Do you have any questions, sir? Um, actually, one yes. If we <clears throat> did want it to start trying to get her pregnant, how soon would she have to stop the medication? I would probably recommend three months. Three months. Okay. Gotcha. Which all right, that's all I Miserable three months for her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Um, but I mean, you know, we want, there is no real hard, fast rule, but three months not only gives time for the medication to be out of her system, mm -hmm. but it also gives time for your body to kind of re-regulate itself. Because one of the very important things in dating a pregnancy and figuring out how far along you are is what your last menstrual period was. Right. So if you're just like constantly spotting and we don't really know when your last menstrual period was, yes, we can eventually figure out how far along you are by ultrasound. It's more mm -hmm. accurate to know it based on your last menstrual period than it is to date you by sauna. Okay, gotcha. Okay. okay. Thank you. What other questions, sir? That's it. I'm, I'm good. <laughs> Alright team. Thank you so much. Alright Infinite Fam, so that was probably the most personal I think we've ever gotten on this channel as far as like <laughs> in depth with my I guess endometriosis. Definitely don't want to put everything that was said in there because I'm a little embarrassed, not gonna lie, talking about all my surgery and all this stuff. But I feel like after that conversation, it's definitely a lot to think about. Um, Man, I'm ready to start. Are we trying tonight? He said three months, and that's if I'm off my va off my vacation. You hear me? Okay. Off of my medication. I see where my brain's at. Um, okay, so let's go home. Let's throw out your medication. We're, we're not gonna throw it out. Let's like put it in the back of a cabinet where it's not seen. All right, and then we'll wait three months, and then you know we'll get the we'll get the party started. Absolutely not. That's crazy. So. Um, I have to give myself three months to get used to the meds I'm on, and I've only been on it for like a month and a half. So. I have to like get on that hopefully it'll help um, like I said um, everything's still up in the air with as far as my timeline so I don't know I think I just have a lot to think about and yeah what do you have to say about all of that you learn something new every day when he said 33% of the time infertility is caused is because of the man I was like wow Mm -hmm. I was actually very surprised with that. So yeah, I didn't know new that. Every day. So 33% of the time, it's the guy's fault. See? 66%, 67%, it's always the females, man. You guys, you guys are just always causing problems. Shut man. up! Yeah, just being toxic and just... You're just being, yeah. Girls being girls. Are you done? Yeah. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, so we'll just wait it out and uh, see what's gonna happen from here. Do you think he was judging our lisps? Yes. 
I could tell he was looking at me while I was talking and I could tell like he was looking at my lisp and I was getting like mad self-conscious about it bro I hate this lisp so much I hate it too like it's I so don't annoying. I don't want to wear liners anymore I don't I honestly just want to get veneers but I'm scared with veneers because like sometimes I don't know it just doesn't end up going well but I'd rather just go the natural way so we're gonna go the natural way well we already started it so yeah we already started it so is what it is can't back out now all right guys so we finally made it home fast forward about a half hour that traffic was insane Florida is becoming more and more populated. I don't know how I feel about that. I think it's the area that we're in, honestly. I feel like... Mm, I think it's just Florida in general. Everyone wants to come down to Florida because everyone just hates the cold. This is... <laughs> yeah, pretty much. But all that being said, guys, that is the end of today's video. So overall, a pretty much positive outlook on everything that went on today. Um, anything else you want to say before we close it? Nope, I think that's it. Um, he answered a lot of my questions. Very informative. And concerns. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So with all that being said, guys, it is now time for today's post notification shout out. Today's post notification shout out goes out to Amy Hernandez. Shout out to you, girl. Thank you so much for the love and support. If you guys want a post notification shout out, all you guys got to do is like, comment, share, and subscribe. Turn on those post notification bells so you're notified whenever we post a new video. And with all that being said, we will catch you in the next video.